Libra, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into the energies around you at the moment, and then we will take a look into the events coming up for you in the next four weeks. Okay, let's start with your main energy. All right, the first message for you today, Libra, is confidence is your key to success. There is a situation here that in time might have started taking your confidence away. Something that little by little, even if so slightly, changed your perception of who you are and maybe even what you have to offer. But this card is suggesting that in order to gain control back of that situation, it's really time to get to the truth. And the truth is that you are the only person you need to be good enough for. And perhaps now it's time to arm yourself with confidence and start saying no without giving explanations. So let's see what this message is about and let's start with your reading. Okay. Hmm. All right. We see exactly that type of energy right next to this main card, Strength, Leo, and the Empress. That's exactly where you should go. That's exactly what you should do. Because as we see here, this is going to have major implications on this situation. But first of all, we see right here that there is something that it's not sitting right with you. Something is bugging you in a situation and maybe you're having a hard time figuring out how to tackle this in a su successful way. You feel the need to talk about something. I definitely see it with the Queen of Cups there. Communicating, opening up your heart and hoping that the other person is going to be honest and is going to open up their heart as well. But you often end up talking about this with yourself or with friends and family because this person doesn't seem to be very communicative right now. And even if they talk, they're not really talking about the issue. And the problem here is that the more you act as if you need to address this issue, the more this person backs up and acts as though they don't want to. Whether it is with their actions or even just emotionally, you definitely pick up on it. This feels like one of the situations where the more you try, the less results you get. And those are really the worst because they make you feel powerless. But don't forget that you always have the power to change something in your favor. And sometimes the power is in the absence of trying. Perhaps it's just best to detach from this person for now and let them come to you. It might hurt a little because you could be thinking that if this person really cared about this, they would try a little harder. And the issue is that when you have the realization that this person might not care very much, right here with the Four of Cups, that's when you feel the need to talk even more. Feeling as if you need to understand what is going on with them right away. Perhaps hoping that maybe you're wrong about your perception of how this person feels and what they truly want. But the more time it passes, the harder it is becoming to trust this person and the more confused you might be getting as well. Because here, sometimes you try to justify your feelings for them, even when they diminish your self-confidence and when they go against your overall expectations. And here you might be thinking, why am I sticking around for this? I know I can do much better, so why am I still hoping for a message, hoping to talk? 
It just feels like you're trying to figure out if this person is doing this on purpose or if they have a good, perhaps hidden reason as to why they're not doing something about this right now. When we clarify, we will look into the other person's energy in order to understand where they are right now and what they feel. But for now, it's important to address what we can address on your end. And here you can see what I mean by that. In the heart of the reading, we have Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands and the Moon. This is you having to do something in order to change the situation around. Now, as a general message, I see that you are ready for a good old fashioned transformation in your life, Libra. There are things that you really want to shake off from your environment. You are ready to let go of old ways, let go of unnecessary weight, letting go of what creates unbalance, ready to build a life that you dream of. When it comes to your life in general, you are pretty good at this. You find ways to do this. But when it comes to love, when it comes to water and emotions, that's when you're starting to run into issues. And with this judgment card here, this is really suggesting that there is something in your actions that we need to look into. And so, first of all, what is your idea of love, Libra? What is that really gives you the feels and that makes you want to fight? Is there perhaps a pattern that you always end up experiencing when it comes to love. I say this because it feels like you have the tendency at times to say yes to people who maybe come in with some conflict, or it feels as if at times you get closer to someone when they are drifting away. There is something that clicks within you when you experience rejection in general, and it immediately makes you feel as though you need to fight. You need to keep that person close to you. Something that perhaps stems from your farther past, some situation where you ended up being left out, abandoned. Now, at a certain degree, we all do that. We all have found ourselves wanting something or someone more when we realize that we couldn't have them. But when this becomes a pattern, then it's important to admit to ourselves that perhaps it's time to change our approach. If you recognize yourself in this pattern, even if just a little bit, it's important to address it because it's going to change your approach and potentially is going to break that cycle. Look at the situation from an external point of view, as if you were talking to your best friend. You would tell them, let them go, let them be. Make them fight for you. And if this is not going to happen, then it means that it wasn't meant to happen. It means that they don't deserve you. Sometimes we have hard time letting go because we perceive that as the end of the road for us. I'll never feel this way again. I'll never find someone that I like in the same way, that I click with in the same way. But it's just not true. You need to give yourself a chance to be happy, Libra with or without this person. And in other words, what we're seeing here is that to find balance in love, you need to find balance within yourself first. And afterward, your perception will change. You'll have more confidence. Then your actions will change together with the final outcome. Don't believe me? Look at what's coming next. Strength, Empress, and this Knight of Swords were here, and Death Rebirth after walking away from negativity. This really feels like a turning point for you. After you enter this Empress energy, confident, focused on yourself, unapologetic, after you truly stop trying, we immediately see communication coming in in a pretty unexpected way. Very quick, in fact. I don't necessarily see this person starting the conversation. It could be someone who knows them, giving you some information about them, perhaps. There is some sort of gossip energy going on here. Or you are receiving a message from an unknown number. They're not coming in clearly and transparently. We'll have to clarify. 
overall, the main message so far is that there is a time for everything. There is a time for planting seeds and working hard and trying. And then there is a time for waiting for those seeds to grow on their own and eventually a time to go back in for the harvest. This is the time for you to wait and let them figure things out. Let them evolve their own vision into one that perhaps is going to be a match with yours. And so right here, as you see, we have plenty of movement. The three of ones as well, the world reconciliation coming back together once again. What is this about? Let's start clarifying. Let's see what's really going on on their end as well. Why the silence? What do they truly feel and what are their intentions right now? Let's see what this communication right here is going to be and how this connection is overall bound to evolve in the next few months, together with looking into what else you should expect in the next 12 months. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Libra, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well, please. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this welcome back to your extended reading libra the bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the upcoming events i cannot even believe that we got this star right here the reason being it's because this energy right here talks exactly about what we were saying at the beginning of the reading the star shows someone who is rebuilding confidence and hope after difficulties, after confusion. And this is going to be really a turning point for you, something that you will be able to feel after this information comes in. That is something that it's going to be revealed to you here as to why this person has been silent, as to why this person has been delaying this movement coming in. And this is going to really allow you to see what's coming forward for you in the next few weeks. The star is a great card to have. It's a great energy to have in the reading because it talks about miracles happening. It talks about things that you really thought never possible now shaping up around you. This is going to be a very emotional moment for you for some reason. And it is going to change your perception on so many things and on yourself as well. Confidence is your key to success. This is going to be a successful year for you, Libra. If you understand what this energy is about, if you go along with the star energy. So let's see what this information is about. Let's start looking into what this Knight of Swords, Three of Wands, represents for your near future and what type of information is going to be revealed to you. Let's clarify both the Three of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Ouch. Oh my god. Okay, I mean, right here you see exactly what this person was about and you see that this person has actually had a very good reason why to be silent for the time being. This person has been working on something, Eight of Pentacles. It feels like the both of you honestly have been working towards this connection towards each other, moving towards each other, and you didn't even know.